All right, welcome back to the Ultimate Mixdown. In this video, we're going to talk about the best, easiest, and quickest way to comp many different takes into one nice composition for any part of your song. This will work great for vocals, lead vocals, backing vocals, and even guitar solos. Anything where you're going to record the same part over and over to get the best performance, and you want to piece together the best phrases or the best words in that performance, together into one solid track. Now before we get into anything, I'm not going to assume that you know to set certain options, so we're going to go into the options real quick, and these are going to help us out through various pieces of this process. So three clicks up here, or at least checking, right? Auto crossfade media items when editing, definitely have that on. That's going to automatically crossfade whenever you split a media item, such as an audio waveform. And then trim content behind media items when editing, this is useful because if you're editing and you don't have this selected and you put two pieces or two items on top of each other, both will play. Most of the time you don't want that, so make sure this is checked. And then also, this show all takes when room. This is what's eventually going to give us all of the different takes on one track so we can see each part. We can see each take that we can go take by take, section by section, and pick the best ones. Now, ideally, when you were recording, you would have recorded it all on the same track. So a very, very useful and common process for recording is selecting the area that you want to record onto, record arming the track, and making sure that some looping feature is on. Now, if you didn't know that, then chances are you created multiple tracks and you recorded onto each individual track. Now, to do the functionality we're about to get into, you want to make sure it's all on the same track. So how do you do that? Very simple, if you have multiple tracks, select the first track, select the next track that you want basically to merge these takes together. You can use shift click if they're consecutive tracks or you can use command or control click. And then you can right click, go to take, and then implode items across tracks into takes. Now all those takes are on one single track and I can cycle through very easily. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to take these four takes on this one track and we're going to cycle through, audition them, and select the best parts. I'm going to show you right now just how quick it is to go through this process. So just like when you recorded, you can turn that toggle repeat on using the R key. So when I'm doing vocals, for example, or if I'm doing sections of a guitar solo, I'm going to select maybe a phrase of the vocals. Ideally, want to keep it so that you're not splitting words themselves, okay? So you don't want to be in the middle of a word, and if words are quickly spoken or quickly sung, you also don't want to cut in between multiple words that are very close together. So usually something like this where it's a verse and there's four different lines, you can tell because of the silence between the lines, then I would select a little space before, all the way through a little space after for that one line. And then you can hit the play button, and it'll start looping through. Each, each time you go through. And all you have to do now is T or Shift T on the keyboard to go between the takes to audition each one. So I'm listening to the first one as it's playing. And when it comes time, I can listen to the last one. I can go backwards, I can go forward. And as you listen to each one, you can very quickly distinguish which one is the best one. Once you have it, select the best one. So let's say it's the second one in the list. You can click right after it, make sure there's a little bit of silence, and click the S key to split. And again, I'm going to do the same process here. Okay, again, select the timeline. It's going to loop through. Okay, we like this one now. So we're going to keep that. Hit the S key. All right, we're going to go through this phrase. All right, we decide this time we're going to go back to this take. Okay, so we're going to split here. But the thing is, we don't like this. We don't like this word that came out. It didn't come out right with this line. So we're going to take the one that's down here. So you can see how quickly it is to just go audition and split. And you just go through all the takes and do that. You can listen to them in solo, but ideally you'd listen to them in the context of the mix. Do the takes have the energy you're trying to bring? Does the melody match the other instruments in the mix? And so forth. All right, so let's say that we've picked this piece, this piece, this piece. All right, we're just going to go through. For this phrase, we want this one. And for this phrase, we want this one. Okay, so we're going to do this for the lead vocal, the double vocal, and so forth. And if you didn't record a double vocal, what's great about this take situation is you've got your best takes. You can comp those to one track, and then you can use the remaining takes as a double. Okay, so I have all these extra takes that you see grayed out right here. They can be my double vocal, as long as they sound good enough to be in the mix. 
Okay, that's great, but now this is one giant mess. I don't want to see four different tracks with different parts selected. Okay, I got you there. So when we turned on that show all takes when room, that allowed us to see the takes. Now if you want to see it just on the comped pieces, Command L on a Mac or Control L on a Mac will toggle that off. So now you just have the main take. Now what happens if you don't like where the splits are and you're worried about the fades not crossing at the correct points? Well, that's very easy because we did an auto crossfade on split. All right, that was one of the options we did earlier. So that you can hold the shift key and then with that crossfade, you just click it and drag it. Okay, so if you were cutting on the grid, for example, and instead of doing the silent piece right here, you accidentally split here, it's not the end of the world. Shift, drag. Okay, now your crossfades are in line. Once you have all your crossfades in line, then you can go ahead and glue your items. So to select multiple items, again, you can click the first one and shift click the last one, and it will select all the consecutive items in between, as well as the first and last. Command shift G on a Mac or control shift G on a PC will glue those items together and create one comp take. The best of all takes on one line, ready to go. This is my main vocal, move on to the doubles. Okay, or move on to verse two or move on to the chorus. Okay, yes, some settings were involved, but those settings stay persistent across the projects that you work on. So all you have to do is listen through the auditions in loop form, split, 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 split. And then, oops, we messed up with the split here with our crossfade, zoom in, click and drag. Okay, great, we have the comp, Command L, Control L, Shift click the first one and the last one, and then Command Shift G or Control Shift G to glue them together. And just note that once you glue the items for the comp track, this is gonna be your take. You can always Command Z to undo. So if I needed these other takes, I can take them somewhere else before I comp it together, before I glue it together, I should say. All right, and before I go, be sure to pick up a copy of my Reaper templates. I'll leave a link in the description below. And I'll also leave a link to my seven steps to a pro mix. So when you get to the point of actually mixing the song together, that's going to be a great reference guide for you. As always, thank you for joining the Ultimate Mixdown. I'll see you in the next video.